Welcome back everyone to Final Fantasy XIV Online with Srena Longard. Srena is taking us through the startup story quests for a character that starts out in New Gridania and we are going to speak to Armel for, to see what they have. Salvaging the scene. Armel, a local at the Mirror Planks, who wishes you to salvage cargo from a wreckage on the road. Might you assist me with another matter, milady? A wagon that departed from Quarry Mill was overturned on the road when some large, ill-tempered forest beast chose that moment to defend its territory. By Nofica's grace, the driver escaped without serious injury, but the wagon's cargo was not so fortunate. With none willing to risk another encounter with the creature, I can only assume the goods remain strewn across the ground where the incident occurred. Simply follow the road here to the south, and you should come across the wreckage. Salvage what cargo you can and deliver it to Keitha at Bent Branch Meadows, if you would be so kind. Alright, Bent Branch Meadows ending. Let's go find this wagon. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, if it's going to sparkle like that, I guess, I guess we've got no excuse for not working out where it is. Run into the zone. Run out of the zone. Ah, right. Get out of there before it belly flops on you. retrieve the cargo and uh, Ben Branch Meadows I believe was where they wanted us to go so a lot of these early quests are just designed to uh, to get you used to the game to give you a little bit of the lore that you're uh, that you're going to encounter to help you get used to your powers if you like your powers and controls and um, and basically just set you up for for actually succeeding I find the hardest thing about this game is is the gear requirements and being aware that it's not just leveling up your character, but it's it's also making sure your character has the best gear, so um, that they can have for their level. That bit I am still learning. Well, I suppose I could try and jump up the cliff. Did we join that? No, we didn't. Do we want to join that? Scores of diamites. Of course we do. We're going to level sync. And we're going to give these guys. Whoops. What ho. Got 10 minutes to what ho them. Weaken that strike back. Double hit. See if we can save this guy's bacon. Or, you know, just upset the dynamite in general. Coming in. Look for the next one. So these fates, they pop up as you go along. Um, so I know I'm doing it quest by quest, but how can I resist? Hey, not ready. Oh, right. <laughs> My auto-target is not auto-targeting what I want it to. Well, that's because it's thinking for itself. Can't have that now, can we? It's pretty good about attacking things that are already attacking you, but when you aren't currently under attack, Where's the next one? You know, I could just stand here and take them as they come in. Get his attention. Radio. Oh, hello. Did not see you standing there. What were you doing? Waiting in line? I know. There we are. And again. This one looks promising. We did it. All right, back to the back to the adventure. <laughs> Two thousand XP, not to be sneezed at. At these low levels, it means it means a fair amount. At the higher levels, yeah, maybe not so much, but. Um, 
they are a good way for getting your head around what your skills can do if you're paying attention. Unless you're a healer, in which case you learn how to DPS a bit better. And heal yourself. And if you've got your um, your mount with you, you can um, you can learn how to switch between targets, uh, DPS targets, and healing by just having your mount in the combat with you. Uh, once you unlock that, so yeah, it's good practice for healers. All right, Keitha, you have a delivery for me. I do. Two crates, to be precise. How they fit in my backpack, I'll never know, and I don't want to. Ah, this is the shipment I was waiting for from Quarry Mill. I heard the wagon ran afoul of some great monstrosity just up the path from the mirror planks, but I see you've managed to scrape together a few bits and pieces. Seems I can't get through two bells these days without hearing some new tale of horrors in the deep croft or bandit cutthroats prowl in the woods hereabouts. Makes me wonder if me Chocobos are safe at night, it does. If we're ever in need of adventurous skills, I hope you'll be around to lend a hand. I will try. But no guarantees, right? All right, and guys, on that note, I'm going to leave you. If you enjoyed the episode, please hit like. If you want to see more, please hit subscribe. I'll check you later. Take care out there.